you know, just yeah. line every sand that was in his hitch, replace it. Start off item 73, apologies for absence. None received. Thank you. Number 74, declarations of interest. Should we receive any declarations of interest in accordance with the Parliament's localism act? Oh. 2011, and to consider any request for dispensations in respect of pecuniary or non pecuniary interests in agenda items. Do you know whether it's a pecuniary or non pecuniary? Because I'm not paying the thing, but it's. 79, review of outstanding receipt. Yeah. Um, same here. You've definitely got the key. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, moving on then. Item 75, the minutes from the last meeting. You need to be approved as a correct record. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Second. All those in favour? Yeah. Item 76, which is, oh, sorry. which is sorry. I'm going to sign that now. Okay. Uh, item 76 to receive a report from the clerk. Okay, so um, four applications, etc., for memorial plaques ash and ashes interments. Do members agree that we should ask the individuals, and we're not talking funeral directors here, we're asking where we're paid by individuals, to pay the fees before interment or installation of the plaque? That's how it should be, really, but we've always just allowed not to happen, um, hence why we've got some outstanding ones from a way off. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think we this standard practice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, and I need to point out that the bank statement shows um, £620, and the narrative says cash withdrawal and my name. However, it's money going into the account, but I want it to be witnessed because it says the words cash withdrawal. And it's because the post office card, but you can see it's money going in. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted you to see it for verification, and that is it for me. Okay. Moving on then, 77 transactions to the payment. <coughs> we normally go through and choose 10, don't we? Mm -hmm. Quite a few small ones this time, isn't it? Academy of Speech and Drama. Ah, yes. That's a ladder. Oh, yeah. I've seen that today in the work. Yeah, that's the final one. Yeah, there we go, Rick. So it's split up between all the various sites, which you don't see on there, so do you want me to run through what they are for each site? Anything else? Yeah. So, win the tree man then. Yeah. 
will be doing there. That's for the two um, in All Saints Churchyard. Okay. That have come down and they've all been dealt with. They've been taken down, have they? Yep. Okay, I'll be with that. <coughs> oh, is that with them? Four. four. <laughs> Safety signs and notices for 24 quid. Screw um, hex, I think it is. Is it there? Safety sign. Oh, it's the plants to put up the signs for um, the allotment signs. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, surgical edge company for the working gloves. Are they? Do you want? Sorry, what's that? The, the working gloves. Surgical. Surgical. Um, yeah. For the forms. Oh, working gloves, yeah. Mm -hmm. So thick ones. ones yeah, yeah thick thorn ones. proof, isn't it? Yeah. How many gloves were in that? It was two pairs. Two pairs. It's quite expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a household appliance store <laughs> on the Barclay card, 359.98. Mada, mada, moo, moo. Oh, Man 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 so um, I've sent them an email and I'm waiting for them to <coughs> come back with the correct one. Okay, thank you. Uh, Gallagher? Gallagher is what you've got further down, which is the pro forma invoice for <coughs> the um, Insurance for the motor vehicles, okay. which is for both terms. That's for both of them, isn't it? Sorry? That's for both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see that there? Now look up. Thank you. Which, when we come to it, it's a considerably cheaper than. Mm -hmm. um, the ladder, waiting for a credit note. Yes, um, which is the name of the company? Uh, Oh, Derricky, yes it. So the first one that came out didn't have hooks as it was supposed to have, so it's gone back. Um, and actually, I have an email this afternoon to say the credit's being done now. So obviously, it's on the Barclay card, mm -hmm. and so we have to pay it. <coughs> but we get it back, Derrick, Derricky, and there's the return label mm -hmm. on it. So. Um, water hall gate, it's a minus figure, is that? Ah, the so, so the last time, um, let's find it. The last time it came in, because they've read the water bill, it was a credit. Right. Um, yeah. And then this time it's come in at £21, so it's actually £4.76 okay. that's been paid. Yeah. While we're on the water, can I ask about the 235.56 for Care Tres Park? <laughs> Is that what you say? Yeah. 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 But it oh, just seems a lot of money. Is that what I've got? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yes, but that's what we're doing at the moment. We're trying to investigate if this there is, is a, leak. a leak or what's going on. Because <coughs> it is so is annoying. that one a proper reading? Yeah. Um, or is that estimated? Uh, we did read no, it. No, we did read it and it's within. It's yeah, yeah. pretty much. So it's pretty much the same, so yeah. That's all ten done, I believe. It is all ten done. Mm -hmm. Right, can we have a. Thank you. Second, thank you. One in favour. Moving on, item 77. No, nope, wrong. Item 78, sorry, is a financial statement. Yeah. Account 513046. Yes. 
once a year, if you've then done say Plank Cook, which is twice a year, last, mm -hmm. it won't show you the wording you use on battlefields. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So um, definitely need to log in with them. Two eight eight five, and we spent two one two seven. Mm -hmm. So 
Yes, that was something we recorded last time. Mr. I never remember his surname. <coughs> Mr. Massey, Cambridge, John, mm -hmm. has offered to buy whatever red we've got. Mm -hmm. I did email you. Mm -hmm. Asked he's got. I have asked for the to be dipped. Okay. Let me know what's the value. He's got a thousand liter tanker. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So we'll be able which to. Which can be just privately fed into it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. It's a bit more income than the we can buy. Yeah. In bulk and I don't know what we were charging. I don't know what we're going rate for her at these least. That's the only thing is what they paid for it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Have a proposal then for that? It's not necessarily 
No, it's just to agree to any recommendations. Oh, recommendations. No, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sell the red diesel quickly. Yeah. No. So it, the recommendation is sell <coughs> red diesel. I think it's worth having a look at what price we paid for it mm. and then yeah. make a decision, that, you know, as to. But I think if, you know, if we paid one pound ten for it, as an example, yeah. we won't get that off it because it can go out and buy a big. So. Yeah. I think, due to both, let's say what you start to look at, last year's prices were sort of like 60 odd p a litre. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Obviously, it's gone up and it's yeah. you know, now all the way down again. So, yeah. yeah. But it makes sense to just get in what we can. Mm. Mm. Can't use any fun, it, it? If we can buy the white in bulk, that'll be cheaper than doing what we're doing in London yeah. winter. So. Yeah. so, the recommendation is to sell red diesel and speak to the planning people with the trade. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Second, thank you, agreed. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So item number 81, we need to suspend standing orders. We have to vote on that, do we? No. So here's a proposal from the second deal, we're in favour. <coughs> thank you. And it is to resolve to agree the purchase of genuine parts for the older Kabuto. Has everybody seen the report in there? Didn't mm -hmm. you see the updated one yeah. today? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, do you want me to? Yeah, you know more about it than I do. So, so. Um, the local company will give us 10% off, provided we don't want the part yesterday. So it's a lead time of five days. But they because they've also said that which I've copy and pasted there, but basically, when you take those two bits off the end, invariably the spline in things mean that you have to replace the centre bit, and if you don't replace it, if you can't, are lucky enough to get away with it, mm. then within a very short period of time, it will go because it all should re be replaced as one, which comes out with a discount of 544 .04. Uh, out of transparency, the whole, yeah, but, uh, they are the cheapest company, but for transparency, the deputy clerk's husband is an employee of that company. But all the other places are coming out exactly the same price. He's the same price, but he's just given us an extra 10%. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And these are genuine voter parts. Yeah. Well, no brainer, isn't it? Got to do it. Yeah. So it's a there's no point doing it and then having a problem further down the line. You might as well bite the bullet and do it. It's still cheaper than what it was going to be if we were going to send it to the yeah, original place. Just, if that doing that bit as well is the people are capable of doing the whole thing. Well, it's still only just it's, it's still it's still a part that you yeah, put in back. Just in taking in out the, the whole thing rather than you know, replacing the whole thing rather it's than not, the individual. You're bits. not actually stripping down or doing anything. Mm. No drastic like that, you're not fabricating or doing mm. anything, it's literally bolting it <coughs> and it back in again, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Is it an agreement? Proposed? Second. Second. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So moving on, item 82, I'll reinstate standard orders, yeah. 82 is eight insurance, item made to review the motor insurance quotes and resolve to agree to recommend a full council. Again, they're all in the shared drive. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot less than we've got in the budget. Mm. Um, Recommend? Mm, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it's a no brainer, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. From where is it? Second. Mm. And item B to review the council's insurance policy, which, which, we which we haven't received yet. We haven't received, but. Um, okay, so we need we need to vote on last night anyway, don't we? We just did. We did. Yeah. Did we? Yeah. I don't remember that far back. <laughs> okay. Do I need to suspend standards? No, no, you just need to amend the agenda. Okay, so item 83, we need to amend the agenda to read the cash handling policy rather than petty cash policy. Mm -hmm. I propose that. Thank you. Seconded, thank you Mark. All those in favour? Love it, what's done? So this is sort of come from 
for the dose, don't know the back story of the order to sort them out that we didn't have a pay a cash policy, even though we don't deal with pay cash as such. Mm. But we do, I mean, it proved it after Saturday, we do have cash cash coming in, don't we? Mm -hmm. Quite often. Uh, so we do need a cash policy. We've stolen the one from, I can't remember, it wasn't my or thought, but they hadn't got one, bizarrely. I can't remember which person. No, I saw it. Jan has adapted yeah. to suit us, yeah. and it works. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Thank you. <coughs> and then item 84 is the investments to receive an update. Uh, Jan and I are meeting with the investment people here on the 15th of December. Okay. Mm -hmm. Move 85, budgets for 23 24. Which is wrong to agree to recommend the 23 and 4 budget. Did we remember to add the uh, extra for the tennis court maintenance? Yeah, that was added. Uh, that was added. Thank you. <coughs> um, it's under Carter's Park. Yeah. Carter's Park, there we go. Changing places, toilets is in at 5,000. Yeah. So what I've done... And we did tweak the projects down yeah. Yeah. to offset. Okay. So, Netherfield project... Yes, yeah, so you've got... So now it's got a lot of 10 grand on it. Five, uh, five. Oh, okay. Hang, hang on a minute. Yeah, we've, we've got it under... We've got 2,000 in for... Um, repairs and maintenance. Oh, sorry. Repairs and maintenance, another build. And where else? In Carver's Park, you've got... 14,500 in the play equipment, because that's for your mm -hmm. um, sandpit, inclusive trampoline um, thingy area, area. Yeah. And then <coughs> in the Netherfield, you've got 1,400, which is 1,000 for football goals. Yeah. Yeah, and you're 2,000 for your new gates. Yeah. Um, and so that's look at that. And nature reserve is 600 quid still, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the what's down the end mark, P D and the numbers is whether we have a duty or a power to spend the money yeah. or a responsibility and some of them actually say the legislation number. Yeah. It's actually come through as part of what we need to do on the um, internal audit. Has it? Mm. Okay. Uh, her rate was asked for with and without budgets what it's going to cost a band D mm. properly so we're looking with projects 87 and 57 a year without projects 72 pounds 51 yeah in my opinion we've still got to do projects otherwise well, Old Beach isn't getting anything back for the project. 72 pounds 51 with no projects is still an increase on last year's budget with projects so that just yeah. shows you how much your running costs have actually gone yeah. up Mm. But we also need to remember that we're working on last year's preset number, mm. don't yeah. we? Which, with the amount of houses that are now mm. in situ and they're occupied, logically should yeah. bring those figures down, shouldn't they, whenever we get it. And as a comparison, I think Mabel thought charge, what, £130 for a Bundy property? Yeah. Mm. Well, that's the same as what we have got similar size population, but their around preset is about 600 grand. We're more expensive than London, did you know that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've got more people. You move into Chelsea area, yeah. Knightsbridge, their uh, projects have been nearly nil because the amount of business rates they take in from the Schmelz. Yeah. We haven't got that, have we? As a parish. Yeah. You've so. got a yeah, variation, haven't you? Yeah. So if we're happy with that, mm -hmm. uh, that'll get presented to full council, the next council meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think there's any need to change it for January. What about, um, are we presenting it with and without projects and then it will be agreed which one we're going out with, basically? Because we've got to make a recommendation, haven't we? Well, I think the person with the recommendation is to go with the with projects. projects yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So, yeah. 
So that would be about a £17 increase-ish, but obviously we need the new tax base figures, don't yeah. we? Which hopefully should bring that down. Yeah. So. So we need a proposal and a seconder to go with projects. Please. Are you happy with that, Mark? Um, yeah, I, I, I can imagine what the conversation is going to be at full council, mm -hmm. and I'm appreciative of that conversation. Yeah. Um, but also, we don't then control what happens after us. So we might keep it at 72. Mm -hmm. mm. Everyone else put it up. The remit is that it's massively gone up, but that's nothing to do with our. Yeah, I mean, our <coughs> into actually the, the um, council tax is yeah. very minimal, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. more district council and county council that's going to have and, an effect. And I take your point on, on what you said, um, you know, the last meeting in the sense of looking at that. 15 quid over the course of a year is not a lot. It's not a vast amount no. considering what it, the rate is going to be. But on the other side, if you're on a very low income, yeah. then an extra pound a week to throw away yeah. is, could be a lot of money for yeah. some people. Yeah. And we've discussed at um, PR about doing a leaflet to put in the newspapers about explaining what the pre what's included in the precept. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just so people can actually see what they're getting for the money. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, did, I think as well as that, we need to make sure when we when it's sort of presented and recommended mm. that we're recommending it on the figure of seventeen quid as opposed to percentile increase because yeah. that's a massive percentile increase in comparison to. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Well, we don't normally operate on percentages anyway, do we? Well, they have done in the past. I know. Never, so last year was the first time the yeah. tax base was mm -hmm. used, but. Um, like Sophie just said, the tax base is really. Those those figures should be less because yeah. once in it's based on last year's tax base. Yeah, because yeah. 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 like, there's hundreds of houses that have been finished. <coughs> and yeah, also for around. a bandy yeah. property, obviously a lot of people in this area would be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they'd be better off than the seventeen. But we, before the meeting in general, I can sit down and work out rather than band increases. Actually, are, that I mean, might be yeah. yeah because for band for this area, band is going to be on the yeah. much higher end. Than it is yeah. yeah. Most people are band B, I would imagine. Yeah. So if yeah. we say the average person, yeah. this will be a cost of. Yeah, yeah. I think that would make it easier to get through. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. seventeen pounds could sound a little bit scary to some people. Oh, definitely. There was a. I'm not just covered off subject. I know the camera's on, but there was a lady on the TV this morning. Got 45p left in their bank account, mm -hmm. doesn't get paid until the 21st of December. Yeah. She's got no money for food, no money for Christmas, mm -hmm. or anything. Yeah, I think it'd be nice to say about um, underneath where we've got estimated per band D property per year, do an yeah. estimate per band B and yeah. say this is the average for the area. Yeah. So we're actually working yeah. out how yeah. I'll put If I add in all bands below D. Yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't think there's any band Bs around here, is it? Oh, no, well, anyway, you are out. Mm. Mm. Because band D is technically an average, isn't it? Yeah. But it's not. But it's not for this part of the world. No. no. So. Yeah. So, can we have a proposal in a second? Propose with projects. All in favour. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Indeed, yeah. <coughs> and moving on, item 86. Confirmation of date. And then the next parish council in here on the 9th of January, 5 o'clock next year. Fine, that'll be alright for you, Mark. Should be, I'll be a while. You'll be at your new job then, though, won't you? I'll be at my new job, but I won't know what days they've got after school training, but I should be fine. I'm closer, so. Well, hopefully, we'll have another personal performance committee after. Well, I don't know, we'll have to see. Okay. Okay, so close. Seventeen forty five. 